The final four tips off tomorrow, and with Duke playing North Carolina and Villanova playing Kansas, it's arguably one of the most anticipated final fours of all time. Here's a quick preview of the matchups and who I think will win it all. Starting with Duke and North Carolina, I like the Blue Devils to beat the Tar Heels in the third installment of this series that saw each team win on the road. I think the improved play of Jeremy Roach for Duke is going to be the difference maker here, as the main concern I had with Duke going into the tournament was point guard play. With Roach playing as well as he is, that concern is alleviated. With North Carolina, they are an 8 seed after all, and again, while they've been playing extremely well in the tournament, they have impressive wins over Baylor and UCLA. I don't think they necessarily have the firepower of this Duke roster. In order for North Carolina to win, they're going to need both Caleb Love and RJ Davis to be on their A games. Caleb Love has been very impressive in the tournament. He dropped 30 points in the win over UCLA in the Sweet 16. RJ Davis has also had his moments. But again, right now with the way Jeremy Roach is playing, I think Duke might be the most complete team left in the field. And they have a lot more margin for error than does North Carolina. I think North Carolina has to play a near perfect game to beat Duke here. And I know they did beat Duke at Cameron for Mike Krzyzewski's last home game as the coach. But I don't think that they get the win here in the Final Four. I have Duke moving on. Looking over on the other side of the bracket, we have Kansas and Villanova. I will take the Jayhawks to beat the Wildcats here. The injury to Justin Moore is absolutely devastating. Villanova was playing a seven-man rotation before the Moore injury, and now they're going to look at six people that they've reasonably expected to play in the NCAA tournament. Maybe Chris Archidiacono, maybe Jordan Longino, maybe Brian Antoine step up in that reserve role. But in order for Villanova to win this game, they're just going to rely too much on Colin Gillespie and Caleb Daniels to get it done. Meanwhile, Kansas has been playing outstanding basketball over the last two weeks. They absolutely dusted Miami in the Elite Eight to get to the Final Four. And the emergence of Remy Martin as a real scoring threat, along with Ochai Baji, I think is a little bit too much for the Wildcats to handle here. With Christian Brown and Jalen Wilson being athletic on the wings, I think they will just out-athlete Villanova. And without Justin Moore, I'm not sure they have the firepower to hang with Kansas offensively. They have been clicking extremely well in the month of March. Obviously, they won the Big 12 tournament earlier this month. And so I think Kansas beats Villanova, and it sets up a Duke-Kansas National Championship game. And your 2022 National Champion, remember, I have been really bad with predictions so far in the tournament. But my final prediction of the 2022 season, the Kansas Jayhawks will be your National Champion. I think the experience matters here. Kansas' top eight rotation guys have all been in college for over three years now. I think that matters when you compare it to Duke. While they have amazing talent with Bancaro, Mark Williams, A.J. Griffin— They're still young, and while they've been great, I trust that Kansas has been in these types of situations before. The difference for me here will be the defense of Kansas. It's been more consistent, more reliable all year than Duke's defense. While Duke probably has the best defensive player in the game with Mark Williams, I think Kansas' overall communication and synergy together is enough to beat the Blue Devils here, and so I will take the Kansas Jayhawks to win a national championship. And there you have it, my 2022 Final Four predictions. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for a great season. Hopefully you guys stick around for the NBA playoffs and the NBA draft. That'll be an exciting time as well. But for this weekend, enjoy the games, enjoy March Madness, and I will see you very soon. Thanks.